How's it going? Keith here from Commander Hoops. So today I am giving you a reaction about the victory against Dundee yesterday at Dance Park. So it was a 1-0 victory. Got the three points. We are now officially 10 points ahead of second place Rangers, which is quite good at this time of the season. So a lot of people are saying basically the league is won. I don't think it's won until basically have a 13 or 14 point cushion and then we'll be celebrating. But just back to the game anyway. Um, wasn't the greatest Celtic performance I've ever seen. To be honest with you, it's quite stale as a performance. We had all together, we had 8 shots on target, 12 corners, 63% possession. Mr. Kieran Tierney, 63% possession. Um, the boys just weren't clinical. Like It was it was a bit, a bit like deja vu against Aberdeen last week. We just weren't taking our chances. The, I have the positive side is it was great to see Benkovic come back from injury. Great to see Callum getting a start. I have to say Callum did make a, a lot of difference in the midfield. It was a massive difference having him in there instead of Beaton. Much bit much better. More chemistry. Like no disrespect to Beaton, but he's not Callum McGregor's level. He's not, you know, he's a good defensive midfielder, but Callum is more more of a trek on forward is what we'll, we've been lacking. In recent games, obviously with Christie still out and then Tom still out, we're glad to have Callum back in there. He's the future captain. He's gonna be. He's gonna be a great player for us, definitely. He already has been, you know, up there. But um, yeah, it just felt like it was just a real boring game to watch. Some spells of it it's just, it just didn't look like we were up for it. James Forrest had a great game. Um, Edward had a good game, as much as Edward, he doesn't get the credit from the, the players and the team. Sometimes even the fans. I think, obviously with this this late goal philosophy where he scored late win against Hearts, I blocked last season wasn't gonna it was a late with ten men which I would say late, and then um scoring yesterday as well in Dance Park it was a nice goal took the finish quite well James had done a nice assist there, but um Benkovic getting Benkovic obviously getting there was a good it's a good result. Scott Bain pulled off another good save for us in the first half. Crack and save another clean sheet. He's he's Celtic tally. He's been proven that he's a, he's been a good shot stopper. Fingers crossed he might get a start for Scotland this week with the international break. Hopefully he, he um makes his mark for the Scotland squad. I know he has played senior level for Scotland in a friendly and so, but it'd be great to see him actually getting a, pro a proper pro proper um competitive competitive start there for Scotland. You never know, especially with Tierney, him and Callum going. This for the international fold. Hopefully there's not much injuries there, touch wood, because we need them for the um game at the end of the month. Oh firm, Sefco, Tesco, whatever you want to call them, we're still gonna beat them anyway. It's gonna be I'll say it's gonna be a whitewash, so fingers crossed. I don't see us conceding as well. But um obviously with the clean sheet with the boys, obviously Lustig played centre back yesterday, Tojan played right back. He had an all right game, Tojan, there wasn't much threat. In most spells from him, um, Lustig played quite well at, at that back, back in the centre back position, covering obviously for um, Boyate. Oyer played quite good, quite good. Taney, usual business, pushing up, played quite well. Bruni was Bruni was good, Bruni was very good yesterday. It just said it was more so to the last end of the, the last quarter of the pitch, we just couldn't do it, just could not do it, we just couldn't get, get the right balls in, take the chances. Don't get me wrong, Dundee's keeper had pulled off some great saves yesterday. Some cracking saves. Obviously, that bend by Sinclair, the volley by um, Tierney. Was it, I think it was Tierney or Forrest. One of them took a nice clean volley. And then, obviously, we were in the aerial threat. We weren't that great as well. So, But that's it. We've got to move on. I don't know I don't know why people are getting real annoyed and upset about how Neil Lennon saying Neil Lennon should be out. Hold on a second. He's at the winning. He's at the winning every game. That he, he's managed so far beyond, beyond Aberdeen because Aberdeen were good that, that day and we were in clinical. But we've got good, we've knocked out good results so far. Obviously, Hibs away, ha Hearts away. So, never say never. Hopefully, we'll get, we'll do this good, you know. But um, that's really for me today. That's my, that's my opinion. I think Lenny's doing a good job. I think some people are just not thinking too much into, into it, saying, oh, he's. He's doing brutal. I don't want him. I don't want him. But like, come on, he's he's at the taking over a team. That was probably just 
mentality just gone after obviously Brendan leaving but he's doing a good job and I'm, I'm happy for him and I hope he gets the job permanently if he delivers the lake happy days if he delivers the, the travel travel that's a bonus so only time will tell matches will tell but um, that's it from me today give us your feedback don't forget to subscribe to the channel hell hell up the Celts and happy 10 points top of the league beautiful Sunday it's great it was it was great and also I hope you enjoyed Paddy's day yesterday as well up the teams.